Tonight in the Wisconsin Capitol, two teams desperate for the back of the net. Forward Madison and Northern Colorado both off scoreless draws. Both no points are at a premium in the cluster that is the USL League One mid-table. Can forward Madison push into the top three? Can Northern Colorado climb into a postseason position? 90 minutes in Madison will tell the tale. It's forward Madison hosting Northern Colorado Hailstorm. I'm Ken Levicka. Welcome to Bree Stevens Field in Madison, Wisconsin. And right away, a look at the Dairyland table. The USL League One, Greenville Triumph up top of Richmond, clear by four points. And then the two teams involved tonight here in Madtown. The hosts, forward Madison, sit top six, 24 points in the table. Three better, only three better than Northern Colorado, who sits ninth. There is a lot at stake here tonight. Keys to the game here tonight from Madison, brought to you by Dairyland. Forward Madison, they have not conceded in 242 consecutive minutes, maintain that defensive strength. Northern Colorado Hailstorm focus on tonight, knowing that five of the next seven are at home as we hit the home stretch of this 2022 USL League One season. Mateus Cassini, Four goals on the season. Him and Jeremiah String share four goals and the team lead. Cassini, the Brazilian. Forward Madison looking for fireworks from him tonight. Forward Madison has been very good at home, largely behind the play of Cassini since early June. And Forward Madison has Cassini as a big reason why they currently sit in a playoff position. On the other side for Northern Colorado, a man looking to get back in form. Ivan Perra, seven goals this season, but it has been quite some time since he has been able to tally in the run of play. It has been nearly two months at this point. Perra did two matches ago convert on a penalty, but looking to get back to his goal scoring ways. His manager, Raymond Zayed, thinks he's close. Tonight would be a big time to break out. Forward Madison, Northern Colorado. The battle is moments away. It's USL League One on ESPN+. Plus. Driving to your first day of work land and spending Saturdays on the road land. Dairyland is affordable auto and motorcycle insurance for you land. All to help get you there. Dairyland is your land. For a warm and inviting space to grab a quick meal or gathering the whole family, come into Gooseberry on the Square, our made-from-scratch fare that is delicious, satisfying, and healthy. Plus, we're serving up breakfast and lunch all day long. Be sure to stop in and craft the salad of your dreams at the largest salad bar on the Square, featuring 70 items and two homemade soups. Gooseberry on the Square, open five days a week from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Stop on in today. There is a lot to play for tonight, and it feels like we say that every single weekend. It's not just hyperbole, however, because the way that this USL League One table is stacked up, every point matters as we head 
towards the final third of this season. We're presented by Millipore Sigma. Tonight, USL League One on ESPN+. Plus. Here, our look at the starting 11s tonight. And we will debut with forward Madison, first year head man, Matt Glazer, brought to you by the Madison Concourse Hotel and Governor's Club. Three man back line for Glazer, Dean, Leonard, and Osmond, the revelation, the Tampa Bay Rowdies product. Ryko Arozarena, who is on forward Madison on loan. He is working on back to back clean sheets. He has not given up a goal in a forward Madison shirt. Cassini and Schneider up top for forward Madison. And now we'll look at Northern Colorado. They are coming up on a run of five of seven at home. Gonna wanna take care of business tonight. It's Irvin Parra, Stefan Lukic at the top of the 4-4-2. A clean sheet. However, a nil-nil draw Chattanooga last time up, but Johan Peñaranda was very, very good in goal for Northern Colorado Hailstorm. Eamon Zayed and his starting 11 tonight. Bree Stevens Field here in Madison, Wisconsin. Kevin Feikar is the referee tonight. Both sides a scoreless draw forward Madison a 0-0 result against Union Omaha on Tuesday. That was a near sellout. That was the largest attendance in forward Madison history. They are looking to top that tonight. And at last check about a half an hour ago, those prospects look good. Heading into today, there was limited seating in the main seating areas here at this legendary facility in downtown Madison, Wisconsin. One of the finest summer cities in the world. And so it is gonna be loud. It is going to be rowdy tonight. Forward Madison potentially could push into the top three. Northern Colorado with three points on the road. What a lift that would be. And it would push them into the top six. Northern Colorado in their all white uniforms tonight. Forward Madison. They are in their blue attire this evening. So Roger Smith and Mateus Cassini up top for forward Madison tonight. And you get a look at Jeremiah String, four goals on the campaign. We are underway, forward Madison. Looking for a flock of goals tonight. Northern Colorado, can they hail on the parade? We will find out as this mid-table tussle is underway. Ken Levicka with you, glad you're joining us from Bree Stevens Field in Madison, Wisconsin. Saturday night and the temperatures in the mid 80s as we get things underway. Forward Madison comes in, six victories on the campaign, four losses, six draws. It's good for 24 points at the table, that puts Forward Madison fifth in USL League One. Northern Colorado, meanwhile, the vagabonds of USL League One. There is no doubt about it. Even when they're home, they're away. Five victories, six defeats, six draws, 21 points. Only three behind forward Madison, but currently sit ninth in USL League One. Just a three-point disparity between fifth and ninth, and that tells you all you need to know about USL League One in 2022. Greenville Triumph on top of Richmond by four points in the table. Greenville sitting top of table have been for the majority of the season, but you just wonder, even though Richmond's looked shaky as of late, a dramatic come from behind victory last week, I wonder how strong a four point advantage actually is. An early free kick for Jeremiah String and forward Madison. String's gonna put it on goal. Punched it right at Peñaranda. It looked like he was crossed up a bit for a moment instead of catching two-hand punch. That did the job, but another free kick is on coming for forward Madison as Cassini hits the deck. Northern Colorado playing with some fire here early, conceding 
Back-to-back free kicks. This at the edge of the attacking third, but that was a strong attempt from Strang. He put it right on the keeper. Peñaranda didn't read it well for a moment, but he was able to bandy it away. So Strang places the ball once again. He'll go to work once again. Strang is going to put this, or tried to put it on goal, and he distributes that wide. Well, already this match, a much quicker pace than what we saw Tuesday night here in Madison when forward Madison and Union Omaha played to that scoreless draw. There was not a single shot on goal until the 87th minute. And that came courtesy of Union Omaha. Rosa Reina was equal to the task. Into stoppage time, forward Madison would put a shot on goal. That's how both teams finished. One shot on goal and they came in the final four minutes of the match. Now Northern Colorado on the attack for the first time, but Jerry Dadieu is dispossessed. This is a veteran back line for forward Madison. Mitch Osmond with the captain's armband and a big collision. Cornwell and Strang collided and Strang is gonna collect a yellow. So it only takes us until the fourth minute to see our first card and the referee, Kevin Feitkar, says Strang was a bit dangerous and there you see him prattle into the back of Cornwall and that's a rightful yellow. It was not purposeful, but it was clumsy. But Mitch Osmond, Eric Leonard, Christian Dean, the back line for forward Madison. Dean only is only his seventh appearance of the season. Cyrus Rand, who typically holds that left back position down, is available as a substitute. This is floated towards the end line. Kept in play and headed away emphatically by Osmond. Forward Madison playing bravely in front of their on loan keeper, Ryko Rosarena, who has quickly become a crowd favorite here in Madison. Two matches, two clean sheets. It is now 247 consecutive minutes for forward Madison without conceding a goal. Victories over Tormenta or a victory over Tormenta. And here's a giveaway though to Dadieu. Dadieu on the run. He's tackled off the ball by Eric Leonard. And then of course for forward Madison the scoreless draw against Union Omaha. This has been a wide open match. We anticipated this. That cross it's going to be cleared away by Arthur Rogers. He didn't want to mess around with it. Decided to distribute it into the seats. Cassini and Gebhardt. Now play back to Dean. Select is celebrating its 75th anniversary. Select proud to be the official match ball supplier of USL League One. Choose what you play with at www.selectsportamerica.com. Select league's choice, player's choice. It's played back into the box as it bounces on this artificial surface and it is launched out of the stadium. Three Stevens Field. First open, 1926. It has National Historic Landmark status. It has the oldest stadium masonry of any stadium in the state of Wisconsin. So it's about eight and a half blocks from the state capital. And that should go for a Northern Colorado corner, and that is the outcome as Dadieu was able to place it off of Dean, who fought the referee's decision for a moment, but to no avail, and Arthur Rogers will saunter into that near corner to deliver our first corner of the night. You see this massive crowd still filling in here in the Wisconsin capital. 
It's a low corner. A fight for it along the end line, and it is won by the Mingos. And delivered back into the midfield, and the chase is on. Controlled by Destin Norman, and Northern Colorado goes back to work. Eamon Zayed, when speaking of that scoreless draw at Chattanooga last weekend, he thought his team was outplayed in the first half, but the second half he truly felt belonged to his side and felt like there was a goal in his team that never came in the 90 minutes. Even Zayed coaching against his former team where he featured as a popular player in the early days of the Chattanooga Red Wolves franchise. Rosarena, a little bit late onto that. Leonard tried to see it onto his foot. Not the most convincing of clearances in Northern Colorado into the attacking third. And a free kick for Northern Colorado as Cassini is whistled. And there you see Strang who is going to be held back by Andrew Wheeler Omoyunu. Strang already on a yellow. The referee. Kevin Ficar says, I was not ready for you to take that free kick, and now he is. On the move, Lukic. Onto his left foot, plays it at the top of the box. Hernandez punches it on. Now Dadeu. Dadeu surveys. And there was a bit too much on that, trying to pick out Marky Hernandez. Way too much power. Dadeu apologizes to his teammate. Now Rosarena quickly gets rid of it, trying to push forward Madison onto the attack. Neither of these sides exemplary goal scoring teams in USL League One. Ford Madison has the third least goals in the table with 22. But they have really turned it on the last month and a half. They have found their goal scoring ways. Their issue all season though has been the great buildup only to falter when it's time to take a shot. Putting shots on goal has been a tough task for this side all season long. Matt Glazer has spent the entire campaign trying to rectify, uh, rectify that in several different ways. He believes he's finally on to something though. Forward Madison has been much more efficient on the attack. In fact, they are top three in USL League One in scoring efficiency. Cassini goes down, another collision and a free kick for forward Madison. Oh, Cassini was pushed from behind and he was pushed right into the ankle of Lukic. That's why Cassini's Rubbing at his head, it had nothing to do with the initial contact and everything to do with the landing. Andrew Wheeler, Omiyunu. His only goal of the season came at Northern Colorado July 5th on a, a cross that floated its way into the back of the net. To my knowledge, he has still not admitted that it was a cross nor should he. To the left of the area, stepping through, staying on his feet. That shot is blocked up in the air by Rogers. A fight for it, still on it is Derek Gephard, but then it rolls across the end line for a goal kick. Gephard looking dangerous. Former USL championship player was last with the Charlotte Independence. Showed some of his veteran savvy, but couldn't put a shot on goal. Arthur Rogers, a dependable defensive player for Northern Colorado, snuffed that out. We still have not seen a touch from Irvin Parra. Here's Dadeu. He tried to cross. Christian Dean sprays it 
over the signage across the end line in the second corner of the Northern Colorado evening is on coming. Irvin Parra, seven goals on the campaign. It's tied for fifth in USL League One. But he has not scored a goal run of play since June 25th. And now the offside flag is up. It was at Greenville June 25th when Parra was able to score. He converted a penalty July 17th against Charlotte Independence. And it has been over a calendar month since he has tallied in the run of play. Eamon Zayed, when we talked to him earlier this week, said, I think he's close. I think he's going to get there. You see him in training. He's still confident. Long ball forward on the chase is Gephardt against Rogers, who has been extremely active. And look at Rogers once again winning that ball. The London native has had a real strong start this evening. Both these sides equally matched to the opening 14 minutes. The referee says play on. This is sent forward, and the flag is up at the last moment. Marky Hernandez thought he was onside. And much to his dismay, the referee had put up the flag. Forward Madison was caught protesting to the referee as opposed to staying with the play, and it nearly cost him. Racing ahead, forward Madison with a potential opportunity. This is fed off a of deflection, short of the goal, but it's forward Madison with a corner, all created by the speed of Jeremiah Strang. And that brings the crowd to its feet. The flock is the supporters section here in Madison. Alan Torres heads over to the corner flag. And he delivers the outswinger, punched away by Pena Ronda. Degree of difficulty fairly high there, got a good fist on it. Forward Madison stays on the ball. That delivery took a deflection off of Hernandez and he fires it away. Second meeting of the season between these two sides. Forward Madison beat Northern Colorado 2-1. July 5th, that match was played at Colorado State. One of what will be three home venues for Northern Colorado in their inaugural season. We'll discuss that here in just a bit. Nifty maneuvers here from Alvin Jones. Rolled back into the midfield, now onto the feet of Dean. Dean, high floater into the corner. Not much that Rojay Smith could do, except force a defensive third throwing. Jostling along the touch line. Stefan Lukic was involved. Speaking of Stefan Lukic, congratulations to the Lukic family. Thursday night, Stefan Lukic had a baby girl, his first child come into the world. We hear that mom is doing well, baby is doing well. Congratulations to Father Stefan Lukic, to Mom, and to the entire family, the Northern Colorado family as well. Stefan Lukic, 
A healthy baby girl delivered on Thursday night. And he did make the trip. And he is in Eamon Zayed's 11 tonight. Cassini. That was miss hit, Northern Colorado. Couldn't come up with a possession, however, and forward Madison on the chase. Smith. That pass was chunked. And able to hold things up for Northern Colorado was Owen Dam getting the start at right back tonight. Now Northern Colorado trying to form something out of the attack. Middle of USL League One and goals scored. Our hailstorm, 23 tallies on the season, just one better than forward Madison. Here's Rogers to the top of the box, too tall. A battle for it. It's kept in though, Hernandez. It's gonna be played off this ball by Alvin Jones. Hernandez then tried to go for a late tackle, made contact, and he's called for the foul. Forward Madison, one less goal on the season than Northern Colorado, but they also are second to last in shots taken in USL League One. So as we were mentioning earlier, forward Madison very efficient. Northern Colorado 23 goals, but the third most shots in the league. They've let them fly. And it is jammed here tonight in Madison, Wisconsin. There you get a good look at the flock. Bree Stevens Field, arguably the best home field advantage in all of USL League One. On the move, Wheeler Omeunu. His pass didn't hit the mark, but he won it right back. This is rolled into the box. Smith on the turn. He was bracketed by defenders. Had to pull it out. 20th minute, no score. Forward Madison in Northern Colorado. Two sides to play to scoreless draws last time out. This one hasn't yielded a goal yet, however, the style of play, the pace of this one certainly suggests that this will not end 0-0. Dean. Hooks it out of the defensive half. Now a long ball forward. That is well placed to Cassini. Cassini's gonna try to go to work 1v1, and he does. Onto his left foot. Rogers, though, tackles it out of play. And Arthur Rogers has been real strong. He just completely extinguished Cassini. There's some boos thinking that the referee initially pointed to the spot. And then the reality came that it was a point for a goal kick. That was outstanding defensive work from Arthur Rogers, who has, to this point, been man of the match for Northern Colorado. He has featured in all 22 matches for Northern Colorado. And he has started all 21 as well. And you see why. Former Hartford Athletic man in the USL Championship. There's Rogers once again. Rogers tied for third in assists in USL League One with five. First in chances created with 46. And leads USL League One in crosses as well. He is a dynamite player. Lukic onto his right foot. Makes the turn, keeps the possession. Had the ball pickpocketed, but one back by Northern Colorado. Destin Norman. Now on to Dadeu. 
Katie who stopped on a dime, then an acrobatic move with his feet, still has it, lays it off to Para, who dribbles a left footer onto a Rosarena, and that ends that sequence, but that looked fluid and that looked promising for Northern Colorado, and Para puts a shot on goal, the first of the night for Northern Colorado. Look at the work from Dadio here, right foot, onto his left foot, defender sprawling, picked out Para, who would have liked to get more on that shot. He's certainly capable of that. And now it's Ford Madison's turn for some sparkling footwork with Gephardt, who's still on the ball. Finally lays it off to Cassini. Left foot Cassini, and Peñaranda read it well into his chest. But we are seeing some gem-like footwork from both sides now. And there was a lot of green to work with. This is a wide open match. Gephardt did all the work, Cassini put on the shot. But neither keeper after those respective sequences had to do much to keep the ball out of the back of the net. Looks like Gephardt is a bit gimpy after that run. Pulls up his sock and now he's jogging away. Denzo Ulissi for Northern Colorado, who has featured prominently in the starting 11 for Northern Colorado. He is done for the season after an ACL tear. He had successful surgery yesterday, so the rehab is on for him. But Northern Colorado is going to have to do it the rest of the way without their dependable defensive mate, Denzo Ulissi. Forward Madison, for the most part, a healthy group. Take down from behind, Alan Torres has the whistle blown at him as Robles hit this artificial turf hard. Nicky in the back heel. Torres on Robles. Now you're gonna look at Destin Norman. He tried out for Northern Colorado in their initial tryout in December. Eamon Zayed said welcome aboard. And he starts here tonight. Free kick. Sent to the left side of the box. Played out. Potential counter on the way here for forward Madison. Now room to run. Alvin Jones will. Jones sprinkles it into the area. Wanted Cassini a bit too far ahead of him. Now Eric Leonard try and push it back into the attacking third only to have it pushed into the defensive half. Rosarena says, I've got it. Michael Rosarena, two weeks ago, was part of a loan that Delivered him here to Madison from Tampa Bay Rowdies in the USL Championship. Phil Brino, who was the starting goalkeeper for forward Madison, went to Tampa Bay. Matt Glazer said this week, the goalkeeping just wasn't what we were hoping to get from Phil. Perhaps Needed a change of scenery. There were some other extenuating circumstances. The decision was made to call Tampa Bay. 
Matt Glazer has loved what he's gotten from Ryko Rosarena. Matt Glazer, former assistant coach and goalkeeping coach, Sacramento Republic. Doing the USL proud, Sacramento Republic in the final of the U.S. Open Cup after their dramatic victory over Sporting Kansas City. It'll be MLS, Orlando City against USL Championship Sacramento Republic in the U.S. Open Cup Championship match. A beautiful evening here in Madison and the supporters soaking it up. Kickoff temperatures right around 82, 83 degrees. Bree Stevens Field, right between Lake Monona and Lake Mendota here in Madison. Kind of an unsure play there from Christian Dean. Didn't know where he wanted to go with the ball and suddenly was in a spot where he had to turn and send it into the stratosphere and concede a corner for Rogers and Northern Colorado. That is not what he wanted to do. You can see the frustration on his face. Rodgers to deliver an outswinger. Puts his foot into it. To the middle, headed down. Never got through to goal though. There was pace on that from Hernandez. Pushed right back on to Rodgers. This time a left-footed cross. This is a good ball. A Rosarena punched at it. It hit off of a player and it flew into the back of the net. A deflected goal. Northern Colorado takes the advantage. And Irvin Parra is climbing it at the half hour mark. One nil, Northern Colorado. You take a look at the replay and it was Para. Para standing on the back post to Rosarena. Looked like he got a fingertip on it. It still found the head of Para and he was able to push it home. Dean was too late to clear the line. Para has his first run of play goal since June 25th at Greenville. And Northern Colorado is stopped forward Madison's defensive streak, which had reached 272 consecutive minutes without a goal conceded. And Northern Colorado with the lead. And Arthur Rogers with the assist. He has six on the season. Rogers to Para. And if that duo can continue to do like that, and Eamon Zayed is going to be a happy man. And it's the first goal that Ryko Rosarena has conceded in his time as forward Madison's goalkeeper. So a lot of streaks come to an end on that goal from Urban Para. Eamon Zayed called it, said he thought Para was close to breaking through once again. Well, there it is, goal number eight on the season for the veteran. Now Rogers is tied for second with a bar of Charlotte Independence assists in USL League One. Northern Colorado, by the way. Six victories, one defeat, two draws when scoring first this season. 
That has largely been the difference between a win and a loss this year for Northern Colorado because when they concede first, only one win on the year, three losses, five draws, but six victories to one defeat and two draws when they score first. This bodes well for Northern Colorado. Marquis Hernandez is down along the touchline. Kevin Fikar calls off for the physio. Don't miss a minute of the action in 2022. Whether your club's on the road or at home, catch nearly every second of USL League One action on ESPN. Plus the home to the USL, MLS, La Liga, the Bundesliga, UFC, and more. Sign up today at plus.espn.com. That's plus.espn.com, ESPN+. Plus. That's where you're watching us tonight. Glad you're along for the ride with us. Northern Colorado has taken a 1-0 advantage over forward Madison. Ken Levicka with you. Bree Stevens Field in Madison, Wisconsin. Second meeting all time between these two clubs. It's the inaugural year of football for Northern Colorado. So Marky Hernandez is done for the night. So a bit of drama after Northern Colorado takes the lead. One of the key focal points to their attack has to come off. And Daniel Scali is gonna be forced into action in the 35th minute. Daniel Scali, the native of Glasgow, Scotland. See if he can acquaint himself with what has been a pretty bright Northern Colorado offensive approach tonight. A tough break for Northern Colorado because Hernandez was really, really strong. And very much a spark plug for Northern Colorado Hail Storm. A 30th minute goal, Irvin Para. Off an assist, a picture perfect cross from Arthur Rogers. Doing what he does best, delivering crosses. And it's one nil to the visitors, now looking for more. There is Rogers. Rogers, step over, step over again. Distributes to the outside. First touch there for Skelly. Pushes it to the edge of the six yard box, headed away, right back to work. Chopping away is Northern Colorado. And then a clunky foul. Strang has got to be careful. He is on a yellow. Cannot be presenting the bottom of his boots like that on a car in an unhappy Rob Cornwall. As Cassini comes up to confront him. This massive crowd here in Madison for now has been taken out of the match a bit. The air has been let out of Breeze Stevens Field after that para goal. Rogers off the restart. This is headed high up into the air. And now a battle for it. It's loose, close in, pushed high up into the air by Para. Rosarena, instead of catching, he bobbles it, and it'll be a corner. Power did well to at least keep that in play, and a Rosarena had to put his hands on that ball. That was Cornwall who was able to get between Wheeler Omiunu and Christian Dean and keep Northern Colorado on the attack. Winning 50-50 balls. This has been inspired to this point. 
by Northern Colorado. Here's the in-swinging corner. Rosarena got a hand on it with white shirts blocking, and that was well done. Wheeler Omiunu appears to be banged up out of play to the side of the goal. Clutching at his head. Trying to get a look at what happened here. This is well done by Rosarena, and he was pushed from behind, and it's like his head might have made contact with the bar. A slight graze of the bar. Wheeler Omiunu says he's fine. Forward Madison now chasing a goal. 38th minute, late stages of this first half. Scali did well to win that ball, but it's given away. Northern Colorado trying to set up its defensive shape. So Northern Colorado's got to be feeling good about this 1-0 lead. That said, forward Madison, up until the scoreless draw with Union Omaha on Tuesday night, had scored at least two goals in every match for seven straight. So it's not as if you're talking about a sputtering attack here for forward Madison. They are high octane. They can get after you and get after you in a hurry. Northern Colorado understands that. They were on the wrong end of two to one at home July 5th. And forward Madison, sensational at home. Since they lost two to one against Charlotte Independence right here in Madison, May 21st, they have not lost a single match here. Four victories, zero defeats, one draw. That came Tuesday. Call that foul on Scally. Northern Colorado, one victory, five defeats, and four draws away from quote unquote home this season. But that's only telling part of the Northern Colorado season story because they did win twice in the U.S. Open Cup. The first match in franchise history was a 1-0 stunner over Colorado Springs. Thanks to Jerry Dadeu in the late stages of that match. And then Northern Colorado went to Real Salt Lake and won with Rob Cornwall deciding it. It has been a monumental season, one that you make documentaries about because it has been glorious. There have been downs. There have been bizarre moments, uncertainty. A lot of stories to tell for Eamon Zayed and company in the opening year. Daniel Ronda picks that up off the turf. Matt Glazer, meanwhile, for forward Madison, it was a fairly listless start to this campaign. They started the year 1-3-4. One, one win, three losses, four draws. Since then, they have completely turned it around. After beating Tucson two to one, June 4th, here at Bree Stevens, five, one, and two in that span. And the fans have come out rewarding this club for the great play. Just look at how jammed it is here. Can't get enough of it. Looking for a goal from the home side. What a shame it would be if forward Madison, two massive crowds Tuesday, unable to find the back of the net against Union Omaha. And then failed to unlock Northern Colorado in front of 
what appears to be a sellout, and if not a sellout, nearly there. This is chipped into the area. Rosa Reina is there. You do not want to get in his way. Right call, Rosa Reina. At 5'11", 179, is built like a barrel. Daniel Scali was in the vicinity, and he started to retreat. That was always going to be a Rosa Reina's ball. And Scali didn't want to get plastered into the turf. individually. Look at Northern Colorado swarming to him. Kephart <laughs> couldn't handle that to the dismay of this capacity crowd. something here late in the half. Northern Colorado has been fairly sound defensively. Play back to Dean. Now a Rosa Reina. Who conceded for the first time in a forward Madison shirt, 30th minute, Urban Para. to beat a Rosarena with a header. Rosarena had committed to it on a cross from Rogers. Swiped at it, may have made slight contact, but it still found the head of Para, who was able to score on an empty goal. Curious to hear the thoughts of Matt Glazer after the match. From goalkeeper coach, assessing a goalkeeper whether or not he would have liked to Rosarena to stay in goal. And Yoranda came out to play it, and all he could do was push it out of play. Now, Pen Yoranda found himself in a spot he didn't want to be in. The blue shirts descending on him, and he took the most favorable of the unfavorable options. here in a moment on stoppage time. Three minutes, three additional minutes here. Wheeler on the unit. One back by Northern Colorado. Trying to hit on the counter. Full head of steam played through. Scally is on it. Scally retrieves in the corner. Scally delivers to the middle. Ahead was on it from Rogers, but he could not make that Lukage, but he could not direct it towards goal. Kept in play, forward Madison now. Tries to work out of the back. They got sloppy with it, however. Para pushes it to Lukage. Para hits the deck right in front of the referee who pays no attention to him. And now he does. Para took a hit to the head. You see Rob Cornwall insinuating there was an elbow. Second time we've seen the physio tonight for Northern Colorado. The last time we saw her, Marky Hernandez had to come off prematurely. Mara sits up now, but with any head injury, they need to make sure that he is in good enough shape to continue. 
see Para to the right of your screen. And it looks like he took a shot to the head, inadvertent from Alan Torres. Parra is briefly going to come off. Doesn't appear to be any sort of case that his night is done. Referee's going to drop this to Rogers as we come close to the conclusion of the opening half here in Madison. Northern Colorado, thanks to Urban Parra, has the advantage. Stefan Lukic was the intended target. Called for a push in the back. We have mere moments remaining. Para has come back on. You see him at the top of your screen. Long ball forward. Forward Madison saying a prayer here in the final seconds of the half. Not answered in that sequence. And it's Robles pushing it ahead to Dadeu. Dadeu's behind the defense. Dadeu to the middle. And it's cleared out of play. Scally was making a run up the middle. And it was Dean who kept it. 1-0. Northern Colorado looking for a backbreaker before halftime. Dean kept it 1-0 with some desperate late defending. Bit of a sleepy end of the half here for forward Madison. And now the last chance to the half goes to Northern Colorado. Here's the delivery in swinger and it hits side netting and that should do it for the first half and it does. Kevin Feichar blows his whistle. Back to the goal scoring ways for Irvin Para, number eight on the season for him. On an assist, the sixth of the year, courtesy of Arthur Rogers. That came in the 30th minute. It's Northern Colorado one, forward Madison nil as both teams head to the dressing room. We'll start the halftime show when we come back to Madison. Northern Colorado, the visitors on top, 1-0. It's USL League One on ESPN+. Dairyland is getting there every day, Land. It's room for everyone, Land. It's post-retirement hobby land. Dairyland is driving to your first day of work land and spending Saturdays on the road land. Dairyland is affordable auto and motorcycle insurance for you land, all to help get you there. Dairyland is your land. For a warm and inviting space to grab a quick meal or gathering the whole family, come into Gooseberry on the Square, our made-from-scratch fare that is delicious, satisfying, and healthy. Plus, we're serving up breakfast and lunch all day long. Be sure to stop in and craft the salad of your dreams at the largest salad bar on the Square, featuring 70 items and two homemade soups. Gooseberry on the Square, open five days a week from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Stop on in today.
We're at halftime in Madtown. Forward Madison and Northern Colorado. This week 19, last week, a lot of action, a lot of jockeying for position in the table. A look at week 18, here's Mark Schoenster. Starting on Tuesday, a huge crowd in Madison to watch this one, but it would take over 90 minutes for there to be a shot on goal between Omaha and Ford Madison. Dion Acoff here, the one who'd be the sole shot on target in the game. Madison would have a chance moments later, but this would end up being the eighth draw of the season, the fifth one, or the eight nil-nil draw of the season with the fifth one for Union Omaha. As we take a look at North Carolina and Richmond, a lot more goals in this one on Wednesday, starting with Shaq Adams. And this guy, he just, he knows how to score goals outside of his ability on the ball, the, about, the amount of runs he can make, how quick he is. He just knows where to be. That's just that goal scorer instinct. And he's already been able to find assists and goals scored for this North Carolina side in his brief tenure. Now, at first this one looked like a Jalen Crisler goal. But it actually came off the back of Nicholas Molina with some physical help from Jalen Krizzler. Was that a foul? Was that not a foul? I'll leave that up for you to decide. Definitely a push, though. As we get a look at Owen Gordon trying to keep his team in that second place spot. Richmond have been near the top of the table all year long, but right now it looks like maybe it's starting to slip from their fingers. Now, moments ago we saw Krizzler get the push. Here he gets the whiff. Is that some karma? You could say yes, but you also Maybe didn't anticipate how the end of this game would go. So it's 2-1 in favor of North Carolina. They're looking to take away three points. They've needed it desperately. But in added time, Emiliano Terzaghi with his eighth goal of the season, which ties them with Garrett McLaughlin and Juan Galindrez for second in the Golden Boot race, just behind Jacob Labovitz. But we're not done here. One goal in added time for Richmond. What if we made it two goals in added time? Just a couple minutes later, Nil Vinyals, the service inside, headed down in Barnathan. Right place, right time, deflects off his chest. Richmond is able to get the 3-2 win, and the fans who traveled just around 180 miles under three hours to come to the game were given a treat for sticking around all the way to the end and believing. What a victory for the kickers. Just a crushing loss for North Carolina FC. And then this happened just yesterday two sides that when they met up the first go around back in April, it was a 3-3 thriller here at American Legion Memorial Stadium. A little more lopsided this side around. Chris Hager, look at that cross. Just a beautiful ball. And then right before halftime, Charlotte would double their advantage. It would be the same guy who scored the first goal, Corey Bennett, contorting his body, twisting it, and ripping it to the back left corner. Just well done by him. Ripping it by Ofek Antman, making it a brace on the day. Has three goals on the season coming into this matchup. And then in the second half, early on, make sure Fuego didn't have any comeback hopes in mind. Hector Acosta, the defender, is able to clip this one and get his second goal of the season, the third goal of the game. Mentioned earlier, Corey Bennett, three goals on the season coming into this game. Three goals in this 90 minutes. The third hat trick of the season in USL League One. The fourth hat trick in Charlotte Independence history would give the Independence all three points. And third place for now. Now this from the USL. We all have goals. But let's be honest. Most of us aren't going to be professional athletes. But if your goal is to finish your degree, we can help. Come to a university that puts your goals first. Bellevue University, your partner in finishing goals.
Jamaican Malik Foster. The Penanka, absolutely disgusting. Plenty of times. Saved by Vidiello. Rodrigo Lopez. It's improbable. It's indomitable. It's another cup set. That was the scene midweek. Sacramento Republic on to the U.S. Open Cup final against Orlando City September 7th. The USL Championship looking to hoist the trophy. Sacramento Republic, what a run. Ryan Sirikowski is back. He is headed to Tormenta, former forward Madison and New England striker. 15 USL League One goals added to Tormenta's attack. And speaking of Tormenta, the inaugural W League champion, 6,000 fans in Minnesota. Tormenta goes on the road, captures the W League crown. Congratulations to the Tormenta organization and everybody involved with the W League champions. Time for the fan of the game. Tonight's Dental Health Associate fan of the game is that man, Max Green. Thank you, Max, for going full Mingo. Max Green, the Dental Health Associate fan of the game. The Evansville Thunder, the Unity Point Health Youth Soccer Spotlight of the night. That's a good looking picture there. Thank you, Madison Area Youth Soccer Clubs and Players for your continued support of Forward Madison FC, the Evansville Thunder, Unity Point Health Youth Soccer Spotlight of the night. Highlights and stats on the way, 1-0. Northern Colorado leads Forward Madison. It's USL League One on ESPN+. Dairyland is getting there every day, Land. It's room for everyone, Land. It's post-retirement hobby, Land. Dairyland is driving to your first day of work, Land. And spending Saturdays on the road, Land. Dairyland is affordable auto and motorcycle insurance for you, Land. All to help get you there. Dairyland is your land. space to grab a quick meal or gathering the whole family come into gooseberry on the square our made from scratch fare that is delicious satisfying and healthy plus we're serving up breakfast and lunch all day long be sure to stop in and craft the salad of your dreams at the largest salad bar on the square featuring 70 items and two homemade soups gooseberry on the square open five days a week from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. stop on in today Northern Colorado has the 1-0 advantage on forward Madison as we welcome you back to Bree Stevens Field. The goal for Irvin Para in the 30th minute. That is the difference after 45. Let's show you some moving pictures of the first half. Forward Madison entered tonight fifth in the USL League One table. Northern Colorado three points behind forward Madison but sitting ninth, some early pressure from forward Madison, but Northern Colorado stout defensively. Then Northern Colorado started to get a feel as Para forces a Rosarena into a save. Forward Madison ebbs and flows of this match, would get back on the ball. Here you see Cassini. Arthur Rogers took care of him though. Rogers will figure prominently later on in these first half highlights. 
There you see Irvin Para. After Dadeu tried to create, Para put it right onto the keeper. A Rosarena. Para, though, would redeem himself. There's Pena Ronda. Able to make a save. Here is the sequence that led to the goal. The corner moved back outside the area. Rogers redelivers this time with a left foot, and he picks out Para on the back post. A Rosarena had committed off the line. A swing and a miss for him. And if he did make contact, it was minimal, not enough to keep it off the head of Para, who scores his eighth goal of the season. And it was time for a rock show. 1-0, Northern Colorado on top of forward Madison as we get set for the second half of play. Match stats brought to you by Rhyme. Two shots on target for both teams. A 4-3 shots advantage for forward Madison and a sizable advantage in possession, but none of that matters as Northern Colorado has the Irvin Para goal to hang its hat on coming out of the dressing room. One yellow shown in the first half. That was given to Jeremiah Strang. Kevin Feitkar blows his whistle and we will see how what should be a fascinating second half will play out. Forward Madison trailing Northern Colorado Ford Madison coming into tonight top six, but they have work to do to stay there. Northern Colorado, meanwhile, if this result holds, they would push into a postseason position. That is just how tight it is in USL League One in that table. Every single point matters. And what? As Robles hits the deck, what an accomplishment it would be for Eamon Zayed's side to come off of this road swing with four points at Chattanooga, picking up the draw, and then all three in Madison. With five of the next seven at home. And an early free kick on the way for the visitors in white. Northern Colorado hailstorm and Arthur Rogers stands over the ball as he typically does on free kicks. And he serves it into the box, headed away to the edge of the area, popped high up into the air by Robles. Danny Robles had it taken away, but one right back by Dadeu. Dadeu is shielded off the ball. Strong defensive play by Alvin Jones, and we'll see if that shakes forward Madison awake a bit. The later portions of the first half were not exactly what Matt Glazer was looking for from his side. A bit sleepy for the men in blue, including nearly conceding a second goal in the waning moments. If not for a Herculean defensive effort from Christian Dean with Northern Colorado on the counter. Drew Connor and Cyrus Rad have entered for forward Madison out of the dressing room. So Matt Glazer at halftime saying this is not good enough and he shuffles his personnel. Looking for some leadership and looking for some ideas. And Cyrus Rad and Drew Connor typically able to deliver both. You see Christian Dean has been taken off defensively for forward Madison. OJ Smith was tripped up. Here's Alvin Jones. On to Connor. Now Cassini. 
The young Brazilian has largely been held in check tonight. Northern Colorado continues to frustrate with their defensive shape. Forward Madison unable to really pick through it. But now Forward Madison makes its way into the attacking third. Played to the edge of the box. Blasted over goal, and it did sail out of play, and it will be a goal kick. Forward Madison entered the night having not conceded in 242 consecutive minutes. That number ballooned to 272 before Urban Para beat Ryko Rosarena in the 30th minute. Long ball ahead. Flag stays down. Scally in on goal. A Rosarena denies him. He made himself big, got down, and took care of Justin Scally, uh, Daniel Scally's shot. Scally maybe would have liked one more touch to try and open him up, himself up some of the goal, but a Rosarena did well to cut off the angle. Owen oh, Dam coming up from his right back position, and he's off the mark on the pass. Could not pick out Jerry Diadu. Osmond, a good ball. Forward Madison looks like it's starting to ask some questions here in possession. Cassini. Sent long to the right of the area. Touchdown and a foul. Alvin Jones drawing the whistle and a free kick coming. Owen Dam frustrated, but there was certainly contact foot to foot. Dam impeded the progress of Jones after that touch. And now forward, Madison with a set piece. Can they do anything with it? Cassini to the back post, headed down, oh! It was punched out by Peñaranda! And we remain 1-0. A swipe of the right arm. It's thrown back into the box and cleared away. Cassini put a dangerous ball onto the back post. And Pinaranda able to delete the header. Forward Madison, though. They have awoken. Cassini on the run. He'll get to this. Cassini wants to go 1v1 against Dam. Step over, step over again into the box. And Dam concedes the corner. This is significantly better from forward Madison. We're gonna get a look at the near goal scoring sequence. And Pena Ronda kept Cyrus Rad from equalizing. Rad had good pace on that and Pena Ronda benefited from the artificial surface. That ball came up shoulder level and Johan Pena Ronda, superb save. The referee below is played dead before the corner can be sent on. Gephardt is over there with Cassini and a discussion is taking place. Alvin Jones and Stefan Lukic getting a talking to.
Cassini to handle the corner. Gephardt has retreated. Cassini sends it to the edge of the attacking third. Now delivered from Wheeler Omiyunu. Headed out of the box. And then Roger Smith watches it bound off of him. And that was absolutely not what forward Madison was looking for out of that corner. But they win it right back into the area. And Breck Evans has to launch it out of play. Northern Colorado looking a bit uneasy defensively right now. Forward Madison very much on the front foot. But all Northern Colorado has to do is stay stout. They're the ones with the 1-0 advantage. Here comes forward Madison again. The Mingos on the push. Connor tried to push it behind the back line. Nothing doing there. Can't watch the match. Turn on Sirius XM FC 157, North America's only 24 7 source for engaging soccer talk, including USL All Access Tuesday night, 7 Eastern Time Plus. Hear live matches from the USL, MLS, English Premier League, and more, all on Sirius XM FC 157 and the XXM app. Forward Madison after tonight is on the road at Charlotte Independence. That'll be Friday evening from North Carolina. Meanwhile, Northern Colorado, quick turnaround. Play host to Richmond Kickers on Tuesday. Starting to run a five of seven at home. Northern Colorado has eight of the last 12 at home. Forward Madison into the box. Gebhardt turns. Gives it off to Smith, now Cassini. Headed back to Cassini, he sends it back into the area. Wild sequence here, still up for grabs. And finally, Peñaranda comes over to put an end to it. Cassini says he took contact to the head. There was frustration for this forward Madison side and the referee is called out the physio to take a look. And the referee has just shown Cassini a card. Cassini wanted nothing to do with the physio. Upset that the referee called for the physio, simply walked away. And Kevin Ficar says, no, you're not gonna show me up. Second yellow of the night. Both have been shown to forward Madison, one to String, one to Cassini. A yellow card has been issued to forward Madison, number 10, Mateus Cassini in the 57th minute. Cassini will come back on in a moment after he had to leave the pitch momentarily. Scally was on that initially, and then he is shielded off the ball. And now we have pushing and shoving. Scally against Leonard. Leonard took exception to Daniel Scally with a little bit of a push in the back, and Scally has been shown a yellow card. First for Northern Colorado. It happened right in front of the supporter section, the flock. They reacted. The referee immediately went to the card. Seemed to be fairly incidental, 50-50 jostling contact, but it happened in that corner in front of the fans. There was a reaction, it drew the card from Kevin Ficar. 
And now Daniel Scali, who was the first half substitution, is in the book. Ford Madison has used two substitutions that came right out of halftime. Cyrus Rad was brought on for Christian Dean. And Drew Connor was delivered into the match. Here's Cassini back out of the pitch. Oh, try to back heel, wanted to roll it on to Jones, but it was intercepted. Slick idea, but didn't work. Here's Drew Connor on the run. This will make its way to Jones. Nope, he could not bring it under control. Long throw in from Dam. And a foul against forward Madison. Much to the dismay of this crowd here at Bree Stevens Field. At the hour mark here at Bree Stevens Field in Madison, Wisconsin. Ken Levicka with you. It is 1 0. Northern Colorado, the Urban Para goal in the 30th minute off an Arthur Rogers assist. And as it stands, it's all three points to the visitors and a spot in the top six. But there is still plenty of action left to play for and left to get to, but forward Madison is finding it difficult to put together any sort of sustained pressure. Rogers, and that delivery headed out of play. Look at this, Greenville, top of the table. The start to their match against Tormenta. Delayed by well over an hour. It's Tormenta in the first half, jumping out to a 2-1 lead over the top team in USL League One. That is raising some eyebrows. Chattanooga Red Wolves on the road. Lead Union Omaha 1-0 in the 66th minute. Well, another week and more head scratching results in the wildly unpredictable USL League One. Charlotte Independence had no problems with Fuego last night, a 4 0 thrashing in favor of Charlotte. And that is where forward Madison goes next Friday. Forward Madison. Lost to Charlotte 6-2 last time they ventured to North Carolina. We'll try and avoid the same fate this time around. It was after that result that the loan that sent Phil Brino to Tampa Bay and Rico Rosarena to forward Madison took place. Forward Madison looking for the equalizer. Right foot, and it is an equalizer! 1-1, Roger Smith from distance. Beats Pinyarunda to the near post. It's game on in Madison. Forward Madison finally puts a dent in the hailstorm defense. You see the build up off the left side and pushed right on to Smith who picks up his fourth goal of the season. He's now tied with Strang and Cassini for the team lead. 
Pena Ronda looked a bit crossed up. I don't think he was expecting Smith to let it fly. He got beaten to the post. And it looked like he was positioned correctly. That goal brought to you by Dairyland Insurance. Roger Smith in his seventh start of the season. And the Jamaican has us level at one. Northern Colorado with the free kick. No harm done there to the hosts, but Cassini a bit sloppy with that ball. Debut. Takes a return back heel from Lukic, but it's one away by forward Madison. Drew Connor trying to get out on the counter, and that was well held up by Destin Norman of Northern Colorado. We had mentioned before the forward Madison goal that Chattanooga had a 1-0 advantage over Union Omaha on the road. That's in the 68th minute. Chattanooga has just collected a red card. Forward Madison, can they pop on top here? They would have liked to have done better. Roger Smith was pleading for the ball at the top of the box. Absolutely pleading for it. But Derek Gephardt said, I'm going to go 1v1. And he sent it well into the night sky here in Madison. Now Northern Colorado surging forward. It's Para making a run. That delivery never got there. And right back on it is Ford Madison. Things have gotten physical. Kevin Feitgar says, let's keep it running. Cassini to his right-hand side. He had Jones. He holds up play. Cassini coming out with Pena Ronda, who saw Smith leak out again. Now Northern Colorado trying to take advantage. Debut, that was nifty. Here he goes. Turns on the boosters into the middle. Para touches it back on at ADU. Now Lukic hooks a pass to the outside. Brack Evans into the mix. And Northern Colorado has to reset in the midfield. Forward Madison back on the ball. Bit too flashy there from Wheeler Romeunu. And Rose Arena comes up. Long ball ahead. Dadeu is on it. Dadeu battling with Osmond. And Osmond wins that confrontation, but Northern Colorado keeps the possession. Who's going to come up with the winning play? As we head towards 20 minutes remaining. Damn, too heavy a touch. And for his troubles, he gets escorted to the turf pretty harshly by Alvin Jones. <laughs> Stefan Lukic is going to come off. Lukic's night is done. Trevor Amon. Runs out onto the pitch.
Flag is up. Cassini is offside. I'm on for Northern Colorado making his 16th appearance of the season. I'm in played his college ball at Midwestern State University. And here is Trevor Amon trying to work around Eric Leonard and Leonard gets the best of him. Leonard a forward Madison stalwart. Played in every single match 2019 2020 for the Mingos. Roger Smith, his 63rd minute goal for forward Madison has us even 1-1 on the assist from Gebhardt. Northern Colorado scored in the first half, 30th minute, Irvin Para. Here's the corner towards the end line. Don't think that touched anybody and the answer to that is no. And it's a goal kick. There's Arthur Rogers with the assist on the para goal for Northern Colorado. And now we're all square with all three points to play for. We said after the Northern Colorado goal that forward Madison up until the nil-nil against Union Omaha here on Tuesday night, they had gone seven straight, scoring at least two goals each match. Can they get right back on the multiple goal train? Right back on track. Wheeler Omiunu. He scored against Northern Colorado in that 2-1 forward Madison victory July 5th. And now he has it along the near touch line. On to Connor. Good ball forward. Jones delivers. And it's cleared out of trouble, but forward Madison able to throw numbers forward. And a throw in upcoming. Forward Madison FC substitution. Entering the game number seven. Jeremiah String sees his night come to an end. Mbake Tiem is on for forward Madison. Jones, Cassini tried to go one, two and never made it there. Abdu Mbake team is on for forward Madison. He'll try and join the attack. The Senegalese forward. This is 14th appearance this year. Only the second time he's come on as a substitute. Jeremiah Strings night is done for forward Madison. Mark ATM has one goal on the season. A giveaway in the midfield. Northern Colorado had numbers for a moment, but Ammon was offside, and he was not going to be able to be played back on, so he had to hold up, and it rolls harmlessly to a Rosarena. Alvin Jones, he's been featured prominently in this second half. He decided to give it a go from a very difficult angle and from distance, and he may have done some damage to the signage behind the goal, but Peñaranda didn't have to make a play on it. 
A new attendance record for forward Madison, 4,759 tonight. Filed into Bree Stevens Field. And they are looking on at what should be a pretty frantic finish. But Ford Madison continuing to break attendance records. Second straight match that they have broken an attendance record in franchise history. Congratulations to everybody with this organization. Para pleading his case. Cyrus Rad. Hit the turf hard. The referee's going to come check on him. Power is claiming, hey, he was throwing an elbow at me. It's not my fault. Power is trying to show Kevin Fikar some battle scars. Kevin Fikar simply says, all right, come on, let's play. Halftime in South Carolina, Tormenta two. Greenville, the top team of the league, one. That would be a massive result for Ian Cameron's side. And things are real, real physical right now. Ford Madison trying to find some real estate to run with. Here's Connor right up the middle channel. Drew Connor pushes it to Cassini. The late match tonight in USL League One has been postponed. Tucson and North Carolina. That will not take place this evening. Given away, Northern Colorado, and they take advantage. Dadeu, he has a flair for the dramatic. Dadeu, good ball to the edge of the area. Now a fight for it, and it's one back. Ammon was dispossessed. One touch too many, and forward Madison passes that test. Jones. Now Gebhardt. Make that Wheeler Omiunu. Wheeler Omiunu in the corner. Ammon came over. And a foul or a throw in rather, is won by forward Madison. That Tucson, North Carolina match postponed because of bad weather in Tucson, not to mention travel delays for North Carolina. Second match, by the way, for FC Tucson this season, home match that has been postponed. The other was due to COVID related issues. Malaytem Gia is on for forward Madison as Matt Glazer continues to try to find a goal. This free kick is sent high up into the night sky. And it'll belong to Northern Colorado. Alvin Jones came off from LA Temgia. Lachlan McLean has sent Stefan Lukic to the bench for Northern Colorado.
Owen Dam got away with a bit of sloppiness in the back there. Rodgers, who has been much quieter in the second half than he was in the opening 45. And forward Madison once again wins the ball out of the midfield. This is sent up ahead. Northern Colorado able to right the ship. Now Dam is on the run. This is wide open. Dam, long ball forward. Cyrus Rad got to it. And it's going to belong to forward Madison, and we have a banged up Mingo on the turf. And that is showing all the earmarks of a cramp situation. I mentioned Lachlan McLean earlier. Jumped the gun on that a bit. McLean is about to come on for Irvin Para. And of course, Trevor Amin came on for Stefan Lukic earlier in this second half. There is Lachlan McLean. We also get a glance at Jackson Dietrich as well. Jerry Dadieu will head to the bench. Seaman Zayed will opt for Jackson Dietrich in the final 10 minutes. And Lachlan McLean takes out the goal scorer, Irvin Para. McLean, the former Greenville Triumph man. Can one of these teams find a way to earn all three? It would go a long way towards finding themselves in a playoff position. Every point so critical, especially on a night where Greenville is trailing at halftime. And Chattanooga without their head coach, Jimmy Obleda, has a lead at Union Omaha, but are down a man. Never a dull moment in USL League One. Well, this is one in the midfield by Northern Colorado. And a Rosarena. He read Robles and that run well. He came up to play the ball before Dietrich could get on the end of that. Colorado suddenly waking up a bit in possession. But Leonard, so scrappy, wins it and plays it onto the goalkeeper. Northern Colorado starting to press now. Gephardt, Leonard. Nifty from Cassini. Well done. And Gephardt earns the foul. The 2022 League Two playoffs in full swing. We've reached the second weekend of matches. Watch all the action Friday and Sunday. Go to USLLeague2.com for more information on how to watch and follow all the drama. It's the USL League Two playoffs now.
Bartman will take the forward Madison goal scorer off, Roger Smith. So Nazim Bartman comes on, there's a big collision involving Cassini once again, and the card is shown. Colorado's second yellow of the night. Owen Dam on the receiving end of that. So Daniel Scally has one, Owen Dam has the other. Forward Madison, two yellows tonight. One still on the pitch, Mateus Cassini. Cassini's gonna handle the free kick duties. Low ball, top of the box. Didn't have much of a chance. Gephardt back on it. Launched into the Right side of the box, and then sent to the heavens. Nice. Drew Connor got physical, won that back. Into the final five minutes. It's gonna have to be a late winner. Who's gonna be the hero? Barkman. Knocked to the ground. That's Scally, who's gonna receive a warning. He's on a card. Looks like Gephardt's going to head over to the ball. A free kick. From the far touch line in front of this record crowd in Madison, 1-1. They have seen a good one tonight. Physical, competitive, well played. Gephardt hand up. Floats it to the top of the box. Cassini chests it down. A swing and a chunk on it from Bartman. And a free kick for forward Madison. Wheeler Omiunu has to deliver it back into the defensive half. That's where it's corralled by Temgia. That stays in play. No, it does not. Looked like Gephardt was going to get there. Across the end line by a few inches. So the way things stand right now, real time table in USL League One. If this finishes 1-1, neither side will have gained or lost ground in the League One table. It wouldn't have mattered even if North Carolina and Tucson did play tonight because both of those sides are the two sides at the bottom of the USL League One table and neither within striking distance of Northern Colorado who sits ninth, which is third to last. Strong play by Bartman, wins it back for forward Madison and he gets shouldered off the ball by Rogers. And now a chance created. Into the box, low cross. Never got through the traffic. Discipline defense swarming to the ball for forward Madison. And now the Mingo's on the move once again. Racing up the far side, taken down from behind. That was very dangerous. That is a yellow shown to Destin Norman. Forward Madison with a free kick here. A direct free kick in the 89th minute. Colorado 
Norman hooking from behind. And if this wasn't a pivotal moment of the match, I think you could make a case for a straight red. Not playing the ball, had a boot high, hooked a leg. That was reckless. And more importantly, he has gift wrapped a late chance for forward Madison. Get right into the wall. Wheeler Omiunu. And the referee stops play. Oh yeah, that was Lachlan McLean who took that free kick right in the head. You look how wobbly he is. He is trying to regain his senses. The referee, an outstanding job. Kevin Feinkar noticed it right away. The referee has added three minutes of stoppage time. You only have three, three minutes. minutes of stoppage time, though I'd imagine 93 minutes will strike and we'll have some additional time. Man, McLean still looks a bit wobbly. I think he's gonna have to come off. Not gonna let pride take over here. McLean is woozy and blinking. And appears to be a bit off balance. Kevin Feikar just told both benches, I'm accounting for this for time. Claim comes over. I think they're discussing if he's going to come back on. Vizio is talking with him, and he is back on. Lock Mc McLean is back on. Three additional minutes, though, it's likely going to be more. Time for a winner for both sides. Forward Madison will probe first. Cassini is on it. Now Eric Leonard, punched forward. Connor, heads it down, lobs it to the middle, and Rogers sends it into the seats. Forward Madison retreats for the corner. Connor wanted Bartman, it was marked well by Rogers. In swinging corner, on the way. High into the sky, headed just wide. Hands on head in despair for Cyrus Rad. This is played back. Oh, misplayed for a moment. And the recovery there for a tired Andrew Wheeler Omionu. Starting to look like heavy legs have overtaken both of these teams. As Dam's going to launch and pray. And it is loose in the box! Oh! Northern Colorado nearly found a winner from McLean, but Tempgea came up to deflect the shot, and a Rosarena scoops it up. Oh, Malay Tempgea, the hero defensively, as McLean found that long ball right on his right foot. Now Bartman at the edge of the box. And he gives it away. Will the referee allow Northern Colorado to get on the counter? The answer is no, because it's extinguished right away. Wheeler Omionu. Now Gephardt. Gephardt to the middle. And then Cassini unable to make the run. 
and that likely going to be the final opportunity. Peñaranda scoops it up. Northern Colorado will absolutely take the road draw with five of the next seven at home at Severance High School. It'll be their third home venue of the year, their third and final. But still, it'll be in Northern Colorado in front of home fans. And the closest venue to where their permanent home is going to be next year. Here's the cross, back post, headed across the mouth of goal and out of play. And there is the final whistle. As both teams put hands on knees, they are exhausted. A 1-1 draw. Northern Colorado struck first. Thanks to Irvin Parra. Forward Madison would equalize with Roje Smith in the second half. And they play to a 1-1 draw. Trevor Amon's header in the final seconds. Unable to be put on goal. And there you see Matt Glazer as he trudges off the turf. Forward Madison picks up two points out of a possible six in front of the two largest home crowds in franchise history here at Bree Stevens Field. Union Omaha on Tuesday, nil-nil. 1-1 tonight in front of over 4,700 against Northern Colorado. Roger Smith is the Festival Foods man of the match. Smith with the goal off of the assist from Derek Gephardt in the second half. And there is Smith, the Festival Foods man of the match. A spectacular goal from distance for Roger Smith. A 1-1 final. From Madison, we'll give you highlights, numbers, and recap it when we come back. A 1-1 draw between Forward Madison and Northern Colorado. Post game after this, it is USL League One on ESPN Plus. Land is getting there every day, Land. It's room for everyone, Land. It's post-retirement hobby land. Dairy land is driving to your first day of work land and spending Saturdays on the road land. Dairy land is affordable auto and motorcycle insurance for you land, all to help get you there. Dairy land is your land. Save of the game brought to you by Dairyland Insurance. This coming in the final moments. Lachlan McLean off a long ball. Able to win this. He puts his right foot on it. But there to help save the day. For forward Madison was Malay Temgia. And a Rosarena comes up with it that is the save of the match. Again, brought to you by Dairyland Insurance. Dairyland also brings you the play of the match, and there is the Roger Smith goal. Nempart able to roll it onto his right foot, took his time, crossed up the keeper, able to tuck it inside the post from 30 yards out, and the Dairyland play of the match 
is Roger Smith's fourth goal of the season and the goal to equalize things and led us to a result tonight. 1-1, forward Madison and Northern Colorado. The fan favorite in his third match in a forward Madison shirt, Ryko Rosarena, greets the crowd behind his goal. He's conceded only one goal in three matches as a member of the Mingos. Full-time highlights from this one. Brought to you by Just Coffee Cooperative. And in the first half, it was forward Madison getting the first shot on goal as Matthias Cassini put it right on Johan Peñaranda. But then Northern Colorado would strike first. The corner is denied, but then Arthur Rogers onto his left foot. Back post, Irvin Para, eighth goal of the season. He beats a Rosarena, who had come out to try and make a play on that cross, probably the wrong decision, and he concedes his first as a member of forward Madison, Irvin Para, his first run of play goal since June 25th. It was one nil, strumming that guitar. Then, in the second half, Daniel Scali, point blank, a Rosarena, stones him after he cuts off the angle. And a nice save for the former Tampa Bay Rowdies man. Then it was a swipe by Pena Ronda to keep it 1-0, Northern Colorado. That back post header unable to get through, but forward Madison wasn't done putting on the pressure. Roche Smith, 67th minute with power from outside the area. Pena Ronda. Trying to figure out what happened. Well, what happened was an equalizing goal, 1-1. And that is where the score line would stay. Late on, Owen Dam, long ball for Northern Colorado. Lockman McLean says, look what I found. But it's Tim Gia who was able to put a foot on it and allows a Rosarena to make the play from his back. Late drama, but still 1-1. A point on the table for both sides. Your rhyme match stats, 58-42 possession for forward Madison. That was the number in the first half. It stays the same through the entire 90 minutes in change. 11-5 in shots for forward Madison. That is rare that they will significantly win that battle to that extent, but four shots on target for both sides. Northern Colorado made the most of their shots. 1-1 on the score line. And that keeps forward Madison fifth in the table. Northern Colorado still sits ninth, but now five of the next seven are at home. And they'll have eight of 12 at home to close out the season. Want to thank Jason Brown, the entire production staff. Outstanding job tonight from Wisconsin's capital city. What a battle. Forward Madison in Northern Colorado in front of the largest crowd in forward Madison history. Play to a 1-1 draw. I'm Ken Levicka. Thanks for joining us here tonight. This has been USL League One on ESPN+. Plus. Good night, everybody. This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League, League One, cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League, League One.